In this video I teach you the human comfort charts. Now first I tell you what is the human comforts, then after what is the comfort charts. What is the meaning of human comfort? Human comfort means it is a condition of mind which express satisfaction with thermal environment. Means it is a certain condition of the setter in the human minds and that are feeling comfortable at the different temperatures. So every person is not feeling the comfortable at the same temperature. Suppose the at the 16 degree centigrade, some people are feeling comfortable and some are need to wear the jackets and sweaters at the 16 degree. And similarly in the 39 or the 40 degree in the summer season, some people are feeling comfortable and some feel some people are feeling too warmer. Okay, and they are need to the air conditioning system at the 39 degree centigrade. So it is a depend on the mind state of the people. So that's why it is known as it is a condition of mind which is express the satisfaction for themselves with atmosphere with thermal environments. It is known as the human comforts and this thing. Okay, so every person is feeling in comfortable at the different range and that range are collected by doing the some work by the ASHRAE Institute. Okay, and they are plotting one graph for indicating the human comfort conditions. Then it is known as the human comfort charts. Okay, so it is a result of research made on different kinds of the pupil in the wide range of temperatures, relative humidity and air motions by the ASHRAE. ASHRAE means American Society of Heating, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineering. They are collecting the number of pupils. They are sitting on to the different temperatures and different relative humidity and some people are feeling comfortable some are not and collecting their data and after collecting their data they are making the one charge that is known as the human comfort charge so in this they are changing the three parameters temperature relative humidity and air motions so we are combining these all the factor then it is known as the effective temperatures okay and the air velocity is set 5 to 8 meter per minute velocity and dry bulb temperature is changed, wet bulb temperature is changed for the certain regions of times. Okay, and it is plotted on one graph and I completely show you the graph here. So it is a graph of effective temperatures. Effective temperature means it is a combination of dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperatures and the relative humidity. Okay, now this relative humidity is comfortable between the 30 to 70 percentage. Okay, so 30 below the 30 percent relative humidity the screen skin becomes too dry and relative humidity if increase about a 70 percentage then skin becomes too sticky that's why the relative humidity is between the 30 to 70 percentage in the both the condition for winter and summer zone now first we focus on to the summer zone okay so in the summer zone there is a red color line is indicate if the comfortable zone for the human being this red line is indicate the effective temperature of 22.5 degrees centigrade and another gray red line is indicate that 26 degrees centigrade so during the summer season the person is feeling comfortable at the effective temperature of 22.5 degrees centigrade to the 26 degrees centigrade and what is relative humidity it is between to 30 to 70 this line of the humidity here the line is humidity for the 30 degree and this line of humidity is for the 60 degree okay so this red zone is indicating comfortable range for the summer seasons okay so all the person are not feeling comfortable at the one specific effective temperatures okay some are feeling effectively at the 22.5 degree centigrade some people are feeling effective at the 26 degree centigrade okay so we are not saying that at that 24 degree centigrade all the people are feeling comfortable because it is depend upon the psychological conditions of the human being that's why its range is change now we study for the winter zone for the winter zone the 90 percent of the pupil is feeling comfortable at the effective temperature of 20 degrees centigrade so this blue line is indicating the effective temperature of 20 degrees centigrade means at 20 90 percent of the pupil is feeling comfortable that is research done by the ASHRAE that collecting the data and another 10% of the people are feeling comfortable between the 20 degree centigrade to 20 sorry it is a 23.5 degree centigrade so it is another blue lines 
it is a 23.5 degree centigrade so it is a range of 3.5 degree centigrade effective temperatures for feeling the comfortable in winter okay and also the for the summer seasons it is a 3.5 because 26 minus 22.5 means it is a range of only 3.5 degree centigrade for feeling comfortable so this blue zone is indicating the comfortable zone for the winter seasons okay now here we see that winter and summer zone is mixed with each other okay so it is a 22.5 degree centigrade and 23.5 degree centigrade means this is a 1 degree effective temperature range on that people are feeling comfortable in both the seasons either in the winter and either in the summer okay so it is a range of effective temperature 22.5 degree centigrade and 23.5 degree centigrade on this region some people are feeling comfortable in both the season as well as winter or in the summer okay thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like my video subscribe channels and share with your friend